by Johnson. Terrific lead in the other hand. All the way through, driving and scoring Mia Kelly. Way. Ogden three ball. She watches as she sees the defender and holds it and goes to the basket. Winfield. Play. Yeah, Winfield went for the steep. Graver goes to the corner. Wide open three for Ellis and knocks it down. Long just drew in the defenders and found the receiver on the perimeter. Yeah. The definition of drive and dish there. And right. a layup. The freshman from New High, New York. Watch this. this. Nice jump snap, him. ball fake. Up she goes. The game now for Stonehill. Lidden left wide open. Knocks down a deuce. Thought about it. Monty driving all the way through. Somebody missed an assignment. That was of the night. She's got four points. A couple free throws in that first half. Boy, just nobody there. She went right around. Rishana comes Kelly. Straight away Stapleton three ball. And Stonehill's got a one-point lead. You saw that that time that Winfield just couldn't hang on. And Stone just handed the ball to Maddie Loader. His loader the other way, and the Skyhawks lead by one. But watch as she drives down the lane here with her left hand and comes back to her right hand and uses the glass. Quarter. Ramonti all the way through, scoops it up, score the basket and the foul. And Emily Ramonti now with eight points. Ramonti yeah, under control the entire way. He had to push off to, to get open. She was being pushed down the lane, but Glidden, Ramonti driving. Gives it up inside. What a look. How did she see Cameron Ward? And we're all tied. Right now, Bramante's in a zone. Watch as she drives down the lane. Peripheral vision. Saw the open player. And what a pass. Straight away, Glidden. Loader for the lead. Young. Young all the way through. Scores. Glidden driving all the way through and scores. The key here is Jolly is all the way through. She could have stopped early on, but took it strong down the lane, fought through the traffic. Watch this, fights through the traffic and goes to the basket for the easy lay-in. Field has an alley, drops it down inside. Somehow Stone saved it to the wing. Three ball thrown in by Hattie Ogden. Loader crashing through to keep it alive. Ramonti again scores in a five-point game. Oh, what's new, Coach Brown? Ooh, Charlie, I have <laughs> missed you. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Welcome. Six-point loss, third loss of the season. I talked to Chris Krause last week when they lost to Quinnipiac, and he said, mm. we proved this game that we can play with anybody. Yeah. Mm. Did you feel that necessary with the way your team played tonight? Did you prove that you can play at this level too? Um, we can play at this level. Like, yep. uh, you know, even with the Providence score, the score I didn't think was indicative of, you know, defensively. I thought we played really well at, at Providence, holding a good scoring team. Um, you know, tonight we, we talked about how we're going to measure success this year, and it really is about like just getting better every game it's not going to be about wins and losses because obviously this isn't you know it's this a whole different world exactly yeah. this is not how we usually start but sure. we're in a different world and so we just need to get better but i don't think we got better tonight there were just so many breakdowns that that are, are controllables you know just communication wasn't sharp our offensive execution isn't sharp and you know obviously we're not knocking down shots so we've got to be able to you know get into our stuff and be a little bit more patient you know at one point you know we're we're trying hard to make big plays and that's why you love them and, and they you i love this team they work really hard but we just need a little better iq at those moments you know so i just and our turnovers were bad um defensively we weren't sharp in what we were trying to do like we knew this team would go right at us and and i thought the zone was good and maybe we should have gone back to it in the second like late in game because we were getting crushed in the paint um but, you know, again, we're, we're the start of the second half. We had a lot of zone breakdowns, so we didn't feel comfortable to stay in it with some of our, um, some of the matchups, so. The turnovers that we had you for 17, mm. is that more disconcerting or is it just that the three ball just wouldn't fall tonight? Um, 
No, we, you know, we talk about you got to take care of the ball and, you know, we shoot for 14 or under turnovers. And so, you know, those have come down a little bit. But, you know, again, every possession counts. It's a six-point game. Like, if we can have 14 or under turnovers, we're giving ourselves more opportunity to score, you know. And, and so, you know, I, like the that urgency for each possession, you know, it's unfortunately not there yet. And just that understanding. Yeah. Is your pr approach different this year with everything that you have in front of you? Oh, I'll tell you uh, after the end of the week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might have to be a little different. Uh, no, it's really been the same. You yeah. know, it, it just the discipline, the fundamentals, but we, we just aren't where we need to be, you know, and just in terms of like how many times do we look back door and we're not making a great pass or we're not our inability to go get that ball and finish, you know, like those are, those are stuff that we need to be better at in a hurry. You know, the ability to finish the ability to that pen and pitch to the weak side. It's, you know, we're just not sharp right now. So, you know, a lot of, a, a lot of fixables, you know, yep. um, but again, the, my disappointment tonight lies in that, you know, I, I think we beat ourselves a little bit. We, we had good opportunities and, and this was, uh, we knew we could compete tonight, but you know we gotta we gotta score too. You know, right. and I think defensively we're putting together some good game efforts for sure. But we, I think we're just exhausted by how hard we're working on the defensive yeah. end. That now those kids that need to be our scorers are a little fatigued, and you know our just our depth in the bench right now. We need kids to get better, and we need our young kids to get better. And so we can, you know, give give a rest to an Emily or a Sophie and, and a Maddie to get, get their legs under them to, to score a little bit more. Was so. it by design this year? I don't ever remember you having a team with just 11 players. Yeah, no, no, that was not by design. You know, we had some kids that we thought were going to stay that didn't. Um, and then we had a, a senior who chose not to come back. And so we, you know... But, but, you know, Maddie's been a great addition as a transfer. Yes. Um, but we really didn't want to go to the portal right now and and have kids, you know, that we weren't real comfortable with. So, you know, we chose to, to move forward with the uh, strong 11. I just bring that up because I would suspect, you know, the year goes on, there's injuries, and now yeah. all of you, you got nine and you got eight, and right. now you're going to have to suit up. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can shoot the ball, Charlie. I know you can. Might not be a bad thing right now. No, just kidding, everyone. Just kidding. Um, yeah, no, that's definitely a concern. That's why, like, our young kids, they need to, they need to get better in a hurry. And and they're doing some nice things. Like, I'm okay with a, you know, Colleen McCullough. You know, she hasn't played in a year, and and she's just a big, strong kid, and she's gonna get better and better. And same same with Chelsea Graver. Got some minutes tonight. Chelsea's a really smart player, and she just. Needs a little confidence, and, and you know we're asking her to fill the point guard role, so that's that's pretty challenging, especially at this level. Her getting comfortable, and but she'll get there. And, and Melissa Whitmore didn't play tonight, but there's a kid that that can score. She just has to you know get used to the pace of the college yeah. game a little bit. So you know we know this is going to be a tough. them and play them short of minutes to let them get used to it or can you throw them in and just say this is what we're going to be doing for the next four years so <laughs> let's go get them uh, a little bit of both you yeah. know you, you i'm glad they're getting minutes now and and they'll mature and, and get better with them um but I, I just think you know you see as they fatigue you know where what happens mentally what happens to the discipline mm -hmm. you know so and I mean, right now we just need Emily and Sophie on the court, and they're playing a lot of minutes. But you play, uh, if I have this right, one, two, three, four, five, six out of the next seven on the road. Oh, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> really happy. Fairfield's nice this time of year. It's lovely. Yes. Go down, new arena. Yes. I'm sure, they'll give us a parting gift of some sort. <laughs> I'm hoping for that. Well, we'll let you go. I appreciate you coming out after. Absolutely, always. All right, thanks. Great to see you. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, Trish. Take care. Final score once again here at the Merkert Gymnasium in Paula Sullivan Court. The University at Buffalo, 62, Stonehill, 56. Matt Nelson and his crew, thanks for all your help. For Brian Buckley, I'm Charlie Bergeron. Have a good night, everybody.